Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it to China, which is stage 4. Well, area 4, and it's actually the second last area in the game. So with that, why don't we go to the Unseen Foe, because I actually walked right next to it. <laughs> I don't know what stage I was going to, but apparently this is the one I chose. And this one has 30 bottles, alright. Well, if this is the Unseen Foe, maybe I can make good use of being invisible a lot. Wait, is that the key over there? Oh, let me zoom in to see. Yep, there it is. Problem is, I cannot reach it yet. It's all the way back there. Hmm. I guess I can't use the door, because it's locked. But I guess I can just use the windows. Which one should I use? Ah, it doesn't really matter. General So. <laughs> Apius Sordium has hairy palms. Yeah, good for him. He should go get that checked. Before he gets wrecked. This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Yeah, I've already mentioned that in the last episode, Bentley. Why can't you recognize my voice? I clearly said that for a reason. Oh, apparently if you did not get that, uh, that bloop, that page over in the last stage, or stage when you start China, you gotta use that carpet to actually move. Fair enough. But since I am able to move, you did not really need it, except to get over there faster. <laughs> you actually have, like, conveyor carpets. I mean, how lazy are you? you? You just walk over there. That's all you need to do, really. I mean, you guys should get a little bit of extra exercise. I can really do something about those hairy palms. Palms are hairy. Knees weak. Arms are fairy. I don't know. <laughs> I tried my best. Wait a minute. Watch this. Oh. What's gonna... Oh my god! I can break bottles in front of this guy and he don't even notice? Oh my god! <laughs> that is the dumbest shit ever! I've never played the other slide games and I hope to god the enemy AI is a little bit smarter than this. I heard the AI is a little bit harder, because, I mean, you can't just bash him in one hit anymore. But, I mean, still, like, for that to even happen in Slide 1, come on. Get it together, guys. You don't notice anything, not even that blue aura on my back. Okay, it looks like I actually do have to jump over here. Alright. Maybe I can, like, uh, climb on that rope to get over there to that guard tower. He does not notice this. This is so lame. Can I get over there somehow? Yeah, I know, you got a hairy palm, so... Okay, I think I know how to get up there. It involves jumping on this stuff. But it looks like I had to go up here. I wanted to destroy that bonsai tree, I don't know why. I don't exactly hate nature, but I just want to see what, whoa, what you could interact with. Okay, I see what this is all about. I can keep moving for a little while, but I gotta turn invisible when those lasers are coming. So be ready for that. And then in between lasers, well, you can just run as fast as you can. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And there's the security uh, module, so I can get rid of it. And there we go. That's all there was to it. This little area. Okay, I gotta time myself carefully to make sure that I don't get my ass burned. 
not hear that? Really? Huh. Yeah, I know the AI is dumb, but you'd think there'd be some limits to all this. Okay, how the hell do I get in there now? Oh, huh. Oh my god, I was not invisible, and yet when I smashed those bottles, he did not turn around. I guess he did not expect me to actually sneak into the tower, even though that entire part of the roof was completely exposed. Never even bothered to fix that? It's like they don't even try anymore. Dear Lord. Okay. They actually found something to counter my ability to move while invisible. This conveyor moves in the opposite direction. So even if I tried to move, I would only just go further back. Or at least just be at an absolute standstill. Needless to say, it's not exactly a good move, so I should just not be invisible and move. There you go. I did it. I only smashed 11 bottles? Really? I thought I smashed more. It looks like I was in this stage for like a good while. Well, this area alone is really gonna help. Okay, we're almost halfway done. Good stuff. What are in all these crates, anyway? I better get here before Crash Bandicoot shows up and just wrecks the place. We. There's the key, but I still can't get there. Oh no! Hey! Oh, I just had a bit of desync thanks to that stupid ape, so uh, give me a moment, okay? Alright, I'm back, let's continue on here. That purple ape is responsible for my desync. Oh dear. He didn't throw anything, did he? Oh, oh. I think I'm just gonna retreat. The unseen foe. Okay! If I go to this entire area over here while I'm invisible, I don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Unless I can decide to, like, uh, revert to being visible when I'm near him so I can get a preemptive strike. Like so. If I just move over here... There! He's already dead! Oh, but there's another one! Okay. I think that's the last of the enemies in this general field. So I have to watch out for enemies in the trees as well. That'll give me a little bit of a significant edge if I can keep watch of them at all times. That looks like we gotta climb these trees. Do I need to go that way? Okay, well I gotta go around the other way. Uh oh. Wait. Oh wow. Totally got got there. I gotta be a little bit more careful. Otherwise I'm gonna start losing my touch. Going really well for me so far. And then I just let that fall by the wayside. I didn't think it'd be another one of those right away. That's it. That's it. You know what? You're cramping my style, so you die. I got an image to uphold, you know. Wait a minute. There's a, there's a bottle up here. Did I not try to get that one? I should be able to get them. Like, all the way when I was back down there, I should have been able to. Yeah, because I climbed, like, one set of trees, but I should have climbed the other ones first to get to those two bottles I missed. That makes sense now. Alright, alright, we got it. We good. Let's, let's climb up here now. Just in case there's any more surprise attacks.
Is there any? No? Okay. That's fair. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, huh. I thought that was somebody's tail. Never mind. Never hurts to be paranoid, because sometimes it's better to be paranoid than dead. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have to, like, get over here. I might have to make my way back to that building again. Later. I just gotta climb from the other side. Okay, that's a lot of lasers that I'd have to deal with. But remember, I can move while invisible. Oh, well, maybe I gotta jump over here first. Uh... This could be a problem. I gotta find a time to get over there. Oh, there's a time. I will take my sweet ass time because I don't wanna like activate any uh, security alarms if I don't have to. It looks like you can just like jump in a timely matter. Oh my god, did I actually do that? Wait, let me test something here. Okay, you cannot turn invisible while you're in the air. Okay. That would have made things a little bit more absurd if you could. Well, let me go back to these bottles. There's a lot of them. Alright, alright, that's good. That's good stuff. Um, something tells me that I can go that way. What's over here, then? Looks like it's... nothing. Okay. How do I get back to that building, then? Oh, oh, okay, you gotta go this way. That makes sense. Remember, this this part is blind to me, because I never gone past, uh, World 3. This is uncharted territory for me. But you know what? That's the way I like it. I like to be challenged. Oh god, that ninja freak's back. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to outfox that ninja, even though I'm pretty sure it looks like a cheetah in this. I think. Aha, you suck. I'm missing a bottle. Luckily, it's only one that I'm missing. I'm on to you! I just heard you. Okay. How the hell do I sneak up on this guy? No, I didn't want to do that. You know what? I'll just get you while I'm up here. While you're up here. I'm missing a bottle. Where do I find it, though? Up here? No, that's where the safe itself is. Okay, what the hell just happened? Oh, oh, okay. It's this thing. Oh, that's where the last bottle is. Clever. Oh, I, I really wanted to see 666. That would have been very devilish, no pun intended. Alright, we got this now. Whatever it is. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Oh, that's so good! So I'm immune to water. And I'm also going to be immune to bottomless pits now. So, that just saved me a hell of a lot of trouble. Well, other hazards can still kill me, but I'm not worried about that. Sly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Well, that definitely makes me feel better in a big field of lasers. Okay. You don't see this being like Mission Impossible. Because this is Mission Very Possible. Uh, 
Okay, I guess I just drop down here. How the hell do I get to that key? Guess I can just land over here. Oh, wow, I was wondering why that didn't work the first try. I guess I can... I think I just hit the pedestal rather than the key case itself? Okay. That was actually a pretty good level. Man, I really like this game. I highly recommend the HD version. Well, you struggle with Ms. Ruby, though, because, you know, apparently there are some sinking issues with that fight on the PS3, from what I heard. Uh, Flaming Temple of Flame. So that'll be the next level. I imagine there's going to be lots of fire. And redundancy. Okay, 25 bottles, that's odd. It's usually a number that ends in zero. But I'll live with it. Oh, okay. I thought I wasn't going to hit him in time. Okay, I can do that. I do that a lot for tiptoeing. I didn't miss any balls doing this, did I? No. Is that a dude over there? Hung Pao, stickiest baboonium, lives for World Cup soccer. That's random. The dude in Haiti likes golf. I guess all the minions of the Fiendish Five are just massive sports fans. Have you noticed that? Maybe if I had this ability while I was in the Welsh Triangle, I'd find people that like curling. But to be fair, I mean, why couldn't they just like golf there? Uh, Wales is very close to Scotland, to some extent. Oh my god, they don't even move. This is so bizarre. I gotta put that guy out of his misery, and thank god I did. I don't know if that hook was necessary. I think I could have been able to cross otherwise. Uh, before I start crossing over... Not that featuring a show with John Edward or something. You remember that show, Crossing Over with John Edward? My mom would watch that show all the time. And, you know, I don't know why, because it was fake as hell anyway. But I guess that's why people like keeping up with the Kardashians. I mean, they're fake as hell too. But people still love them, or just can't stop watching. Maybe it's the whole train wreck scenario. I don't know. I feel like I should be able to get to those bottles earlier, but I can't. I'm not exactly Mario. I'm sly. Like a fox. Oh, this part isn't... Oh, that's, n that's not a problem. Despite my, uh... Yelp in a panic. Oh, this snow is very deep. Okay, how do we do this? That's a good question. Actually, the answer is pretty simple. Well, there's Lucky Charm over there. I can definitely use that. Uh, let's kill this guy right now. Take these bottles. And then, we will deactivate this. That way I can actually go down there. Get ourselves a free hit. Wait a minute. There's something else over here. Oh, I bet you some people would miss these bottles on their first trip here, and I almost did too. That was actually well hidden. Kudos, game. Kudos. Okay, so back to my tangent about, like, uh, crossing over John Edward. My mom loved that show. And they made that little shtick on Family Guy as about, like, uh, John Edward would just call a random name. And then somebody in the audience would say, Like, I know someone like that! And it would have to be the most common name. Like, who's John? I mean, almost everybody knows a John. Or a Peter. Or a James. Or, I don't know, an Andrew. Or Sarah. I don't know. They're common names. So we got 
they probably just profile like everybody in the audience. Okay, who are some people in your family? And then they just like say, oh, we're not gonna document it. But then they do anyway and say like, oh hey, I know this guy. Okay, what I'm saying is full of shit. Maybe it's like, I don't know. Tinfoil crap. But anyways, that's neither here nor there anymore. Okay, I see what we gotta do. If crossing over with John ever, like, started becoming a thing in 2015 or 2016, I'm pretty sure they would just say, it's a social experiment. You know, just to prank people. What the hell are these guys doing? Well, they're not enemies because they're not giving me any data. Man, I wish they'd give me some data. I only get, like, 500 megs a month on this cell phone plan. They're, they just... Do some kind of dance. Not exactly enemies or anything. Okay, I feel like I'm far in this level, but only nine bottles worries me a great deal. Okay, you, apparently you might be able to tip these guys. Can you actually, like, knock them over? Okay, apparently you can kill them. But you have to, like, jump high enough to do it. And I imagine that'd be very tricky to do. Do I have to kill them? I don't think so, because I didn't get anything out of it besides coins. I guess I'll just have to leave them alone. Can I get on this? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a lot of bottles over here, actually. I think I have to kill these guys, like, from here. Can I use fire against them? I don't know. Okay, well, that worked. Okay, if you have to tip it a certain way, so you can actually get, like, a bit of momentum to hit them. So let me take care of these guys in the front first. But God, these monkeys look like they got massive afros. It's so weird. Alright, let me try this way again. I think I have to get on that somehow. Oh, I have to get over here. Alright. That answers the riddle. I think I have to get over here. Okay, you can hit the gong. That's so cool. What happens if you hit it from behind? I think I need to get up there. First, let me take this. Well, all of these, actually. Like, all the one bottle, collectively. <laughs> and we'll just climb up here. Oh, you can smash these uh, ornaments over here. Get a lot of coins this way. Over here, I mean, that's a crap ton of bottles. Okay, we're safe over here because the fire is inside of this. I thought I would actually get burned, but I don't. I don't have to worry. I don't think that was the right thing to do there. Okay, there's nothing below that. I was thinking there would actually be something hidden if you fall in there. Someone tells me I should like, go to the right? Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. I need to go up. And then just glide down that rope. I think that makes sense now. So, let me check all this again. Alright, we're good. Again, I'm really enjoying this game. I can't wait to Let's Play Slice 2 and 3. Well, when will I do it? I don't know. Because I like to, like, space these, uh, sequels out most of the time. 
Okay, I don't think I needed to come this way at all anymore. Yeah, it's over here I gotta go. Well, here specifically. For all of this. Okay, we're making a lot of inroads here. And with that... Oh dear. We... Oh, I just tomahawked him. Oh dear. Wait, let me scan this guy. Xiaomei, Champions Fung Kung Fuium. This is the Techno. Good for him or her. I think I can make this work. Okay, I think I'll. Wait a minute, I think I need to hit all of these. What did that do? Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to get on top of that and then make it spin upward so I can get there. But first, let me deal with Harry Palmass over there. <laughs> I can imagine he his hand could be his own toilet paper. Because it's so hairy and he just needs to trim the hair and then he's good to go. I would imagine maybe it's not that simple, but how would I know? I don't have hairy palms. I've had many women tell me that uh, they're jealous of me because my hands are softer than theirs. And I don't even use lotion. It's all natural, guys and gals. Mostly gals. <laughs> okay, I see what I need to do. I guess I do have to go up now. I feel like we've done so much of this stage. And yet, only 20 bottles. Then again, we haven't even found the safe. So maybe I shouldn't be too concerned. Okay, where do I go? Do I go up here next? Or was it the other way? Okay, I guess... Whoa, okay, I almost messed that up. I guess we will have to go this way first. And then I can just work my way back here. Alright, we're good. Didn't miss anything. Should be. Oh, oh god, there was another thing I had to climb. I need to climb up higher. Alright. Where's the other guy? Oh, there's two of them! Wait, they're in sync with each other! Oh, okay. I nearly messed up on that one. But you know what I was going for. I don't know how I feel about this. I gotta do a lot of swinging, it seems. It'd be so easy to mess up here, but wait a minute, I'm immune to bottomless pits now. So I don't have to worry about that, even if I screwed up. All I'd be wasting is time rather than health. There's only two more bottles, so they gotta be near here. Let's see if I can do this with- oh, without turning invisible. I wanna try it. Oh, oh. Okay, well there's a safe. And there's the key. Wait a minute. I feel like I missed two bottles. What if they're actually around here? They're not. I gotta go through this level again. Unless... They're up here! Give me some hope, game! Let me believe! Unless... Oh, that's where I climbed up. Okay, so I guess the game's not gonna give me as much hope as I would've liked. Okay, now I gotta think this through. Where did I not go in this stage? Maybe I can actually see it from here. Okay, that's where I started. Was it anywhere on top of this building? Oh, that sucks. Now I gotta do this whole stage and think about where I did not get those bottles. 
And then I have to get all the way to the end of the stage to all unlock the safe. Oh shit. I had a good thing going on and now I gotta like go back. Oh well, well going like several stages in a row without having to like redo them all. I I don't feel too bad about it. So clearly the stages are longer. Okay, I say in my own time, I'm gonna go back to that stage and find out where I missed those two bottles. And then I'll just meet you back at that point. In fact, why don't I just go there right now, and off screen, and then when I find those bottles, I will, like, uh, head over to the safe again. So why don't you just give me, like, a couple more minutes. Guys, I'm mad. You know those two bottles that we saw earlier were saying, oh, we're not gonna be able to reach those. They were the two bottles I needed! So I'm thinking maybe there is a way for me to get up there. Whether it's from here or not, I'm not entirely sure. That's what we need to look at. I guess I can't do it from here specifically, but further up ahead, there should be a way for me to reach them. I guess what I just need to do is just make sure that I'm paying attention to the perspective of all of this. Wait a minute. What if I can reach it just by bouncing on this? Nope, that, that's not gonna work. Okay, well, there has to be another way. I guess it can't be too far. Like, maybe if I, like, get this checkpoint and then just drop down. That might be the best way to do things, actually. We'll try that. Now, I might as well just show myself doing all this because, you know, it allows us to have a little bit more fun. I mean, I, I love showing off this game. It's actually pretty good. I'm really glad that uh, people wanted me to play it. Uh, again, I want to deal with this drone first. There we go. I guess if you just go all the way around, you'll eventually get to that point where you can get to those two bottles just by well, jumping down. I'm so glad this guy got an absolutely predictable pattern. It makes things a hell of a lot easier when it comes to, like, planning your next assault. Gotta go through this part again. Well, at least we don't have to explore for bottles anymore. So I can just go straight on. Why can't I just climb that? Thank you. Okay, I know where I need to go now. All I, have... I was wondering, like, uh, am I gonna reach that? Because I should be able to. Oh, okay, that was weird. A strange ass interaction, I must say, but it worked out for the best. Could I reach that from here? I don't think so. No, that no, that's where I started. All right, all right. I'm getting used to like the upper parts of this area now. Don't want to get myself confused and all that shtick. Okay, you know what? I think it was over here that we gotta go. So to get to these bottles, I think I just need to drop. Straight down? There we go! We did it! And you can actually use this to get back up again. Okay, that, that's good, that's good. i give you a little bit of a safety net. So, I guess I'll just meet you uh, back at the safe. Alright, we made it back to the safe, so let's get that taken care of now. Thank you for reminding me for the 300th time. In chaos theory, otherwise this code would have been unsolvable. Input nine three two. Nine three two. Okay, gotcha. Huh, sixty six percent. Mario Lemieux would be proud, but I don't think he's watching this, and I'm glad he ain't. <laughs> you found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your Monocucom. Oh, awesome. That's for the uh, blueprints too. Alright, so with that in mind, I'm gone. So you know what? I think now I'm going to call it an episode, and in the next part, I will meet you at the King of the Hill. 
Nothing to do with propane, though. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.